Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new to my channel, my name is Morgan and I upload a new vlog, hair, or fashion video every Wednesday. So if you're done with that, please subscribe. For today's video, we're going to be running some errands and talking about what I'm driving, my car. So I filmed a car tour video a couple weeks ago and it low-key popped off, like for me and the normal views that I get on my videos. So a lot of people wanted to know more specific things about my car, like how does it drive on the interstate or is it expensive to maintain? That's what this video is for. I'm going to be answering a lot of those questions today. So before we begin, I want to give a huge shout out to both Lexi Bragg and Patia Nelson. They both have beetles and they're super cute. They also did a similar video to this talking about the pros and cons of owning a beetle and I did get a lot of inspo from them so I wanted to shout them out. I'll also be linking their videos down below so after you watch this one you can go watch theirs and get some more insight as to whether or not you need this car. One last thing before we get started comment down below your dream car because this is definitely one of mine. Another dream car that I have is a G-Wagon. Like I can just see myself like being a mom, taking my kids to soccer practice in my G-Wagon. I'm manifesting it, I'm claiming it right now. <laughs> so yeah, let's get started talking about the pros and cons of owning a Beetle. So I think we should start with the cons first because we want to end the video on a good note. This is a small car and obviously, you know, I knew what I was signing up for when I did get this car for me it's not really a problem because people don't really ride in my car with me i'm usually the only one in here it doesn't really bother me but if you're someone who you're always like carpooling with your friends or you have like siblings and stuff that you gotta take places that's something to think about because the back seat is not big at all there's also only three cup holders in this car but there's four seats i've never really understood that but um that is something to think about as well. There are little openings in the doors, so if you need to put your drink in there, then you can. That's where I'm keeping my bottle right now. This one is super huge. It is 32 ounces and it doesn't fit in the regular cup holder, so I have to keep it in the door. All right, so let's talk about maintenance. So I've had a couple things go wrong with my car. My car is a 2013. If you haven't seen the car tour video, I will link it in the cards above. It's a 2013 and I got it in 2017. So at that point it was four years old. And of course there's gonna be some problems with it. First thing that happened was my door locks actually went out. Um, I was driving with my friend and we kept hearing this clicking noise and she was like, what is that? We later found out that it was my locks. So anytime you drive over like 10 or 20 miles, then the doors will automatically lock, which is a great safety feature. I mean, I love that about the car, but mine was broken. No, I was like, no, we gotta get this fixed ASAP. Like, we can't be having like unlocked doors. Not that there's anything in my car worth stealing, but I just don't wanna experience that. So I got that fixed ASAP, but that was a problem. Um, the second thing that happened was, I think my lights went out. So we do have these lights. Let me focus the camera. So these buttons are the only ones that work. I was normally using this button, but I basically paid the guy to not even fix it at all because now it just doesn't work. And at first it was moving, but it was like shorting almost. It was like a, a fuse had blown or something. This button basically turns both of the lights on and both of the lights off, but now I can only use these to turn the lights on. So it's not a huge problem, but I paid $30 to have this fixed and it really wasn't even fixed. Um, now it just doesn't work but i think it's better this way because it was like a short circuit i'm gonna start driving and i will talk to y'all on the road all right so the next thing i wanted to talk about is that my window actually ended up going out as well so i have automatic windows it's like you click the button once and the window rolls down so that stopped working and that was very expensive to fix that happened and that was a couple of hundred dollars to get fixed it's like my window just stopped rolling down at one point oh the last thing that happened this is i mean it's technically a maintenance thing i guess so just for context if you didn't know like i didn't know um windshield wipers can range anywhere from like three dollars to like six or seven dollars so i'm thinking okay it's time to replace my windshield wipers that's cool like i'll just pay this amount of money and it's fine um so like i said my car was used I did not get a brand new car. So I'm not sure when the previous owner replaced the windshield wipers, but I had mine from 2017 to 2020 and I just now replaced them. Like I said, wipers are usually pretty cheap, right? Or so I thought. Turns out my windshield wipers for a Beetle are $25 each. Each. So I paid $50. Well, my dad paid, shout out dad if you're watching. I paid $50 for my windshield wipers and 
that is just so insane to me because the thing is he also has a german car we were thinking like oh maybe because it's a german car um it's more expensive to have these things replaced but no his wipers are way cheaper than mine so i don't think it's a german car thing i think it's a volkswagen thing or like a beetle thing so yeah little buggy's cute or whatever but you're paying for her <laughs> i just i had to mention that because that was something that was so shocking to me so i don't know if i'll consider this a pro or a con because for me it's a pro but i know some people may not like this this car is definitely a conversation starter um every time i'm out somebody will stop me or like just you know want to talk about it it's usually like old people they'll be like oh i had a beetle like back in my day or whatever and it's cute to me it's a pro for me it could be a con for someone else so just keep that in mind a little boy just pointed at my car this is a pro for sure the car is super cute and people always like want to stop and like take pictures so that's definitely a pro for me i love that it's cute because it puts a smile on people's faces it's just a really cute vehicle. We're at Target now. Um, I really have no specific reason to be here. I just came here. Um, let's get into some real deal pros that make this car worth it. Because we wanted to get the bad stuff out of the way and on a good note, you know? First of all, I don't want to sound like every other girl who's ever done a Beetle car tour, but for real, y'all, I have wanted this car forever. Since I was a kid, I feel like everyone grows up wanting a Beetle, or maybe just me and the people that I live around have always told me that. This is a 2013 Volkswagen Beetle. It has a five-cylinder engine, which is kind of weird considering most cars are either four or a six-cylinder engine, but mine is a five. I've had it for almost three years now, as I mentioned earlier. I got it my junior year of high school, and I'm now a sophomore in college. The key has several safety features that I didn't even know about until I had the car for at least like two years. So one thing is that the door will never lock if your key is inside, which is perfect because me, being a forgetful person, I've never locked my keys in a car, but it just seems like something I would do. So it's really comforting to know that if I did happen to leave my keys in the car, then it wouldn't lock. It also has the red button to set off the alarm. Another thing that's really cool is that if you, let me get it out. So here is my key. This is the red button I was talking about. So you can press this button once to unlock the driver's side door, and then you can press it twice to unlock both doors. This is super important because a couple of years ago on Twitter, I saw this video of this woman and she was trying to get in her car and there was someone on her passenger side trying to get in her car as well. So her key had this feature where she could just unlock her driver's side and she was able to get in and drive off. Such a good feature that literally every key should have. I'm not sure if every key does have that. Just know that this key does and that is so good. Like I would have never thought of that. I need to go in this store right now. Vlogging in public is so frustrating because I get so shy. I know some people who just don't care, but I'm very shy about it. This could be like the city that I live in, but it's usually pretty cheap to fill up my car. That could be so different based on like your city and like wherever you live. So it could just differ. I feel like that's really good for what I do. Like all I do is drive to school and that's it. <laughs> I come to Target. Like that's literally all I do. Um, I don't do a ton of driving. Oh, I didn't talk about the interstate thing. So a lot of people were asking me how my car drives on the interstate. The longest I've ever driven it is like two hours on the interstate and it was fine. I didn't have any problems. Just make sure you get your oil changed, get your engine checked and all that. Like if you're going to be driving long distances. I know a lot of people who drive four plus hours to go to college and I've never driven that long. So it was fun, didn't have any problems. Just driving those two hours takes like a quarter tank. So I feel like my car is pretty good on gas. I don't know. I just feel like for me and like what I do, it is totally fine. But if you're someone who is gonna be like driving to college, see, I commute to college. So that's the thing with me. If you're driving off to college, like keep that in mind. But I can't imagine packing this car up for college because um, what you gonna fit in there? <laughs> you do, I would just say bring someone else with a larger car because this ain't gonna do it. I don't think this would do it, for real. I would say, the last thing I wanna mention is to make sure you get your money's worth. My car is a 2013, and I've seen other car tours of girls who have 2013 Beetles, and they have more stuff than I do. Like, some people have this navigation screen, and I don't have that. I mean, I would really love to have a navigation screen, because I don't be knowing where I'm going. Yeah, I would really love to have that, and that's something I didn't have. Also, the seats in my car 
are super outdated. To lay the seat back, you have to crank this knob. You'll see if you watch the car tour video. It's like cranking a knob to lay my seat back. And some other girls who have 2013 Beatles have the electronic seats. Mine is manual. So just keep that in mind. Make sure you get your money's worth because I wish I had a navigation system and electric seats. <laughs> you have seat warmers though, so that's pretty cool. But it kind of gets annoying to like crank this knob to lean the seat back. We are back with a fresh battery. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> I really don't have much else to say on that. Just make sure you get your money's worth. I mean, I have some pretty cool features, I think, but that was just something that I was like, dang, I really should have watched out for that because a navigation screen would have been top tier, like perfect. <laughs> I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered anything. If you have any more questions about the car, be sure to leave them down below because I'm always responding to y'all's comments. Love talking to y'all in the comments, so be sure to leave a comment down below. Also, don't forget to tell me what your dream car is for the video. Thank y'all so much for watching, and I will see y'all in my next one. Bye! Yo.